Hey guys, this is Walter from Witten Radio. I am here at the 2013 Memphis uh, Black Expo right here in downtown Memphis, Tennessee. It's the largest uh, Black History Month event in the nation. And I'm up here seated next to uh, USA Olympic uh, um, silver medalist, Terrell Higgins. How's it going, sir? Awesome. Thank you for uh, joining us on tonight's show. Awesome. Uh, Terrell, for our, our uh, um, audience out there, I wanted to um, ask you, um, you know, what's it like being back in Memphis? You know, this area it has fostered your growth and your career, and you know, what's it like being home? I actually just love Memphis as being, you know, my home as well as my hometown, Coldwater, because not only Coldwater supported me throughout my career, Memphis also played a major part, you know, in supporting my career. You know, they aired it on the news, and, you know, did a lot of interviews to pursue my career, so it's always fun to come back home and, and get back. Okay. Now, um, you Growing up, you I, you know you played football. You also, of course, played in track and field. And when was it that you definitively decided to um, pursue a career with track and field? Well, actually, in the sixth grade, I always had the love for track and field because it was you know, my whole family ran track, so I kind of always had that belief that I could one day be an Olympian. So I I, I was it real hard going into my life to see you know, high school and fall into college and college to college. Uh, I took you know advantage of the scholarship because not too many people from my community were able to get a scholarship and not only the track and field but in any sport. So going throughout college, being number one in the early in college and winning the national championship was when I really found the love and to pursue it as a profession. Okay. Now uh, there, obviously there is, you know, um, in, track, in college, track and field is it's huge. You know, it's it's huge even after college. Um, I do notice that there's um, there is some gaps between you know the time you graduate college and the time that you go professional. And I was wondering, you know, for our listening audience out there, for someone aspiring to uh, become a track track and field uh, star such as yourself, you know, what advice would you give them? Track and field is hard work, you know, dedication. You got to you got to love for it. You have to. Pursue your dream, chase your dream, and go after your dream. You know, um, like I said, you first have to have a love for it and surround yourself around people with circumcised hard to be able to give you that positive influence and not surround yourself around negativity because you will find yourself being negative. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just you know, trust and believe in yourself. Believe that, that you know, the Lord bless you with that talent to pursue your talent and, and take hard work, not only just talent, but to enhance that talent and take hard work and believe in yourself. Really, that's probably the most positive thing I've heard all day today. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a powerful statement. Now, um, you recently, uh, you know, won the silver medal, and I was wondering, what are your plans now? Or do you are you, do you plan to participate in, in any more Olympics coming up? But I'm now I'm now training for World Championship this year. We have a World Championship in Moscow, Russia, in August. So I'm training six days a week, you know, from 9:30 to 2:30 every day to not only go for the silver, but I want to go for the gold. Yeah. You know, uh, it's always hard to even get on the podium. Mm -hmm. I was pleased with my silver, but I always go for improvement. And you know, I've seen things that I need to work on to go for the gold, and that's the plan this year at World Championship in Moscow Rush to go for the gold. Okay. Now, what goes into the, the training process? I mean, obviously, we, you can't give away all your secrets, but I mean, um, you know, for the listening audience, someone that's you know never participated in track and field, you know what's it like? Uh, is it is it nerve wracking? Is it painstaking? I mean, obviously you have to do without some things and you know do more of other things to improve. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm gonna say that the the most hard thing for me was to leave my family. You know, I have a son back at back at home, so it's like I said, it's dedication. You know, dedication to be the best. I left my family because. It was my. It was a career choice to better myself in my career, not because I just want to leave. So sometimes you have to make sacrifices, you know, to, to be the best. And at the end, you will have the reward. But to be, a, like I said, to be the best athlete, you have to train the best and believe that you are the best. And a lot of people think track you and only athlete be cocky, but it's, it's it's not cocky nor arrogant. It's called confidence. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, Trail. Um, I'm all out of questions, but I did want to open the floor to you. Is there anything um, that you'd like to say to our listening audience? Yeah, I would like to first thank everyone for supporting me throughout my career, not only just this Olympic year, but throughout my whole entire career. And, you know, for the 
prayers that you all um, sent up for me, the emails, the Facebook messages, the, the Twitter, and just the thoughts that you all have, knowing that I was going there to represent not only the U.S., not only Coldwater, but to represent the whole United States and Memphis and the surrounding area as a whole. And I just want to say, um, I, from the heart, I really want to say thank you. That's awesome. Guys, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to check out our website. It's www.wittenradio.com. Uh, make sure to check out Terrell. He'll be, he'll be at the World Championships in Moscow this summer. And um, you can keep up to date with all his information at Facebook, Twitter, uh, Twitter or email or globalathletic.com, which is my management. Awesome. Well, I'm Walter signing off.